How many clicks does it take to admit a patient before and after optimizing your admission order set? We are going to admit this patient to inpatient. Attending is going to be me. Hospital medicine service, hospital medicine team, med surge, not going to be a short stay. Um, no cardiac telemetry needed. Patient condition is going to be fair. There'll be full resuscitation. We'll add our uh, floor contact uh, dot phrase here. And then we're gonna say, yes, I would be surprised if the patient died in the next six months. We don't need to get daily waits for this patient. I usually like to have this may transport without telemetry checked. Uh, precautions, we'll put no risk precautions, uncheck the physical restrictions. We can put them on a regular diet. We'll get pulse oximetry with vitals, oxygen therapy to keep oxygen saturated at 92%. For pain management, we'll do normal renal function and then we will do uh, acetaminophen and then 650 PRN for mild pain. No need for um, some of these other medications. Uh, and then we'll have the default bowel care of Miralax. Uh, we got melatonin and all of this stuff here. Uh, let's say the patient doesn't need smoking cessation. We're going to click here uh, for Lovenox for DVT prophylaxis. And then uh, for labs, let's do a CBC. Okay, and then we will do that for unspecified occurrences. Uh, we'll do a BMP for unspecified occurrences, uh, magnesium every morning, and then for uh, as many as occurrences we want. Um, and then uh, that looks pretty good. We can get a physical therapy evaluation. So we'll say greater than 48 hours. And then occupational therapy, greater than 48 hours. And we will say time. So two minutes. All right, now I'm going to go to manage user versions and uh, create a version based on the original. And now let's try and optimize this so I have to do as little clicking as possible to admit this patient. Because, you know, two minutes doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm going to tally up how many clicks that took there, how many times I had to type something. And uh, over time, that really does tend to add up to a lot of time that it takes to admit a patient. And that could all be useful time that you could be using, you know, seeing the patient, putting in more urgent orders, things like that. So. For this one, uh, admit to hospital, I basically always use this um, one right here, admit to inpatient. And so we can already uh, just by default have it populate all the things we're gonna put. So admitting and attending will be me, hospital medicine service, hospital medicine team, med surge level of care, and then they will not be a short stay. Okay, so let's just proceed with that. Uh, patient update condition. So we can just put this fair in general. You know, if they're critical, they're going to be going to the ICU. So really it's between these three uh, and fair is definitely the most common. So uh, because otherwise they wouldn't be getting uh, coming into the hospital. Obviously, if you need to update this to serious or you just want to put good, that's fine as well. Code status will put full resuscitation by default. Here we can put uh, pre-populate our contact information here. Okay, and that's my old dot phrase, which I'm not using anymore, but you can just have that pre-populate. Nowadays, I kind of like having Q6 hour uh, vitals, um, but that's a small thing. And then we can just pre-check this where it's not checking every day unless they're like a heart failure patient or something. And we can pre-check the May transport without telemetry. Uh, and then for precautions, almost all the, t all the time it's no risk precautions, so we can just do that. And then the physical restrictions, I almost never use. It's all for like weight bearing stuff. So we don't need any of that. We don't need any of this. We can just put people on a regular diet by default, but obviously if we need to change it, we can change it to a diabetic diet or something like that. Respiratory, let's default click this pulse ox with vitals. Let's do oxygen therapy. And why don't we do something like nasal cannula, titrate to goal O2 sat greater than 90%, okay? because. Uh, I like having this goal O2 sat because when it's a COPD patient, I can say titrate to goal O2 sat 88 to 92%, for example. No fluids or anything. For the pain management, we can uh, directly go here and then get that Tylenol that we ordered and then order that PRN every four hours if needed. And then for our bowel care, that's all good. Um, 
insomnia we have. I've been taking off these PRN anti-emetics and stuff. Uh, well, I just recently changed this yesterday because I feel like it just kind of like makes it a little bit messier in the EMR. And if somebody's having a lot of Zo like nausea or something, then sure, I'll add the Zofran on later. Um, but it just kind of cleans up the patient's orders a little bit. And then uh, medication for DVT prophylaxis. Unfortunately, we cannot select this by default. It's all grayed out. So that one will have to be one that we have to do manually, but routine labs we can definitely do. So we can just do a CBC without differential by default and tomorrow every morning uh, without any um, or until specified. Um, and you know, a lot of these patients probably don't need daily labs, but it's nice to just have something ordered uh, by default. And if you need to pull back the labs later, you can definitely do that. So we'll do the same thing with the basic metabolic panel. Magnesium, uh, we will also get in the morning every day. Uh, the other thing that I like to do here is uh, for the hepatic function panel, uh, just change, you know, I don't necessarily need to order it for every patient, but for the patients that I do order it on, I can just put QAM and just have that pre-populated. So, you know, if I do click this, now it'll already pre-populated be saying daily uh, LFTs, for example, in a patient with liver failure, uh, liver injury or something like that. And then uh, for the consult services, we can just do PT and OT by default. And uh, this one says assess mobility leads needs. So I'll just change that to mobility needs and then pre-select this so we don't have to do that later. And then a self self-care needs greater than 48 hours and just pre-select that there. And then uh, these are actually some very useful um, order sets that I found uh, you know, I never clicked on them before, but they actually are pretty useful um, that you can use in the future. But for this example, we are not going to use that. And then let's save this as Conan's version. And now let's see how long it takes to admit this patient using the updated order set. So let's start the timer and let's go. So patient is already admitted to inpatient under my name and hospital medicine. Condition is already fair, full resuscitation, contact information is already updated. The yes, I would be surprised question is already answered. Vitals Q6, don't need to click the wait here. Um, this is all ready. Uh, all of this stuff is all, all filled out. Precautions, no risk precautions. They've got a regular diet. Pulse ox and oxygen therapy are already ordered. Uh, patient already has Tylenol ordered PRN. And then we've already got our bowel regimen and things like that. Smoking cessations here. Um, and then uh, for VTE, we're going to have to make some clicks here to order the Lovenox and that's fine. And then our labs are already ordered and, uh, physical therapy and occupational therapy are all ordered already as well. So that is down to 48 seconds and let's count how many clicks that was. So I hope that was a really useful demonstration for you guys on why it's so important to optimize your admission order set. You can see that we went from 57 clicks down to four clicks, and that's basically reducing the number of clicks to less than 10% of the clicks uh, that you're doing without the admission order set. You know, it may not seem like that much, but 50 clicks versus four clicks is such a big difference in how it feels to do the admission. And that many clicks really does add up throughout the day. If you're doing four or five admissions in a day, you're really gonna start feeling the fatigue of going through all those clicks every single time. And it's just become so repetitive and tiring. Not only that, but I would say that as I was going through the admission order set, I was kind of explaining things to you guys and reading through the orders. But if I really wanted to, I could have admitted that patient in probably less than 10 seconds uh, and gotten all the skeleton admission orders in. And when I did the two minute admission with the, the default order set, um, that was still using a lot of hotkeys and little shortcuts to make things quicker. So for a lot of people that would probably take three or four minutes. So then you're talking about a difference of 10 to 20 seconds versus three to four minutes per admission. And that really, really does add up as well. Anyways, what are you waiting for? I hope you take this information and you go and optimize your order set now and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Peace.